That's great fishing, they used to go and fish him. They're easy to catch because they've never been caught before. Take that and eat them. So you've had some good times in Cockleshaw over the years? Yeah, I used to stay days up here for mates, you know. Right. Mates the place there, that window there. Moments I used to clean out the window at four in the morning, showing to people. How Fair around here, drunk on my car. How did, this, how, what was it like here 20 years ago compared to now? It's the first time I've been here for probably 20 years. I've had some problems. <laughs> and I think by doors, you'll be here. Look at this, Coggershaw today. It's all full of antique dealers. They got busted, didn't they? Oh, heaven's We are in Coggershaw, me and Uncle Dean. And we are here to give you an update. So tell us all about it, Uncle Dean. It's all antique shops here. More years ago, and all the antique dealers got arrested by the police. They were all gay, you know, having male sex in the local toilets here somewhere. It was all a big thing in the papers on the main news and everything. <laughs> One of them come after me with a golf club. So don't yeah, ask Uncle says. Dean anything, all right? Don't ask Uncle Dean. Well, it's I ain't low, but what's in the papers on the news? <laughs> Nothing ain't. People ain't read or seen. That ain't true. And that's mates just keep aggravating one there and he's, he come out with a golf club at me. So I didn't duck and run, they all run, I just stood there. <coughs> they all broke in the chemist up here, didn't they? The apprentice who used to do the bootlegging, he'd make you any tablet you want. So yet they found opium and all that back to Victorian times and his thing. He was 90 odd when I was still buying beer off him in the 80s. He's running a chemist into retirement age and his mate went in there, so he's going to Scotland. And he come back and give him a bit of lack beauty. Nine hours. No come down. Did that get you there? <laughs> so the secret, ladies and gentlemen, is to not ask Uncle yeah. Dean about anything. Well, he was caught. <laughs> well, it's getting in the papers, his friend, it's a pharmacist. Selling crates of beer and spirits in the Chapel Car Park. That's in the papers. Because I used to go around his house and buy crates of beer off him with my mates. In, in his 90s, this was, he got caught doing this. He was a bit of a jet lag. <laughs>